Good evening. I'm uh, very fortunate in being asked to uh, welcome you to this London Science Festival, particularly to discuss this evening uh, the structure of DNA, uh, the general uh, heading sometimes called the meaning of life, which uh, I'll talk about later. The reason I got involved and the reason that we're all here today is the work of one man, John Randall, who uh, was able to uh, get MRC support for a unit which is now housed in the building in which you are present. He had the ability to see that probably the most important contribution to science was going to be the discovery of the structure of DNA, as you say, an important molecule. I think if you ask any man in the street who discovered the structure of DNA, they'll reply, Watson and Crick. The other two that don't get mentioned much are Wilkins and Franklin, who were in Kings. Wilkins and uh, I had used X-ray diffraction to get this beautiful spotty picture of DNA molecule. And this was the thing that I remember most from those days, the feeling of tremendous excitement when I developed the first picture of uh, DNA crystals. I don't think I realized at that time that uh, it was going to be uh, the basic discovery of the uh, century. Understanding of the double helix structure has, that understanding has blossomed into so many different fields that uh, 50 years on from the discovery, Watson organized a uh, festival symposium in uh, Cold Spring Harbor and there were 20 odd or 22 Nobel Prize winners there who uh, had all got their Nobel Prizes working on some aspect of the made possible by the structure of DNA. That was when I realized the fundamental uh, input that this molecule, uh, would, that the knowledge of the structure would have. The biggest uh, step forward was the discovery of the human genome, which meant that you could get the genome, which is the genetic sequence of any animal uh, for any species across the world. I believe that in the next five, and certainly within ten years, every baby that is born will be presented with a copy of their genome. This will mean that they can have a personal uh, physician or the, the personal contact with a physician who will be charged with controlling the environment and uh, the exposure to diseases of this particular subject with this particular set of genes. And instead of having what we have now as a health service, it isn't a health service, it's a crisis management of disease. Then, once we have all got our genome, it will be truly preventative medicine. 